world. This is unfortunate. What? What's unfortunate? Be quiet. <gasps> Dream. That was the worst night's sleep. Mm. Did you find that worm of yours? My hand feels kind of numb. Well, probably because you wrapped your headphone cord around it last night. Can I... can I just have toast? No, sir. You need to eat a proper breakfast. Come on, give me a break. I had a rough night. Mm, that's because you stayed up too late. <clears throat> Relax, it's just a spider. Seriously, Shinichi, when are you going to get over this silly fear of bugs? At the latest meeting of the OEC, at the latest meeting of the OEC, Daddy, where's mommy? I need something to eat. hours. I thought I turned it off and, and I... Yes? Sorry, sir. Hmm. Huh? Uh, no, no, no. About this morning. Looks like she's still pretty pissed off. Okay, look. 
Because your mind's for you. Really? Thanks, Yoko. But first you have to tell me if you're okay. Because, well, you don't look so good. Yeah. I don't really feel so good either. I think I'm gonna ask the teacher if maybe I can go home. There's no way my hand could just move on its own, could it? I mean, after that thing from last night, I don't know what to think. Shimichi? Well, he's home early. I don't know how the hell you got in there. But you're coming out. How can I even search for something like this? I mean, who ever heard of something like this ever happening to anyone before? I got a call from the school today. They said you left early. Oh yeah? Something happened? Nothing much. Just felt a little sick, that's all. Anything serious? No. Oh, you want seconds? You must feel better. So you don't feel well, but you still have an appetite, huh? Well, I'm feeling better now. What's the big deal? Huh? I can't tell Mom or Dad about this. They'll think I'm crazy. I love you, love you. Ah, oh, face. Oh, God. Ah. Too many drinky drinks. Huh? Ah. Nakamura, you left your laundry outside in the red. Actually, I can't tell anyone about this. If I went to the police, they'd probably put me away for the rest of my life. And if I went to a doctor, I'd just end up being their freak show. And everyone would know. I don't know what to do. Hey, wake up. Is it morning? Yes, it is. It's morning, and I'm awake! <sighs> I'm 
still having a nightmare. What are you doing? As you can see, I'm studying. I see you can speak pretty well now. So, what are you? Ian, what's an alien? Is that wormy thing what you're really supposed to look like? I can't help but notice that none of your biology texts seem to have anything about me. Did you come from outer space? Some distant planet somewhere? I don't have any idea where I came from. My earliest memory is with you. Feeling disappointed I was unable to occupy your brain. My brain? Are you kidding me? Wait, you're not gonna go after my brain next, are you? If that were possible, I would have done so already. But sadly, it's not. Since I've already matured without eating your brain, it's too late. Most unfortunate. Well, what would have happened if you had succeeded in eating my brain? You'd probably still look pretty much the same as you do now, but your head would be able to do things like this. That's so gross! So why exactly is this happening to me? Peachy, you were not chosen for this specifically. Guess I really should go to a hospital, whether I'm a freak show or not. A hospital? Why? Uh, so they can cut you off, of course. That would be undesirable. I rely on the nutrients that are present in your bloodstream for survival. If I were to be removed, then I would most assuredly shrivel up and die. And on top of that, Shinichi, you would end up losing your right... Look, you're the one who just took over my arm without asking, so you don't really have a say here! Hmm. How about this? I can reconnect the circuitry in your arm so that while I'm asleep, you'll be able to control your hand just like before. Huh? That'll work, won't it? The two of us are gonna have to learn to cooperate and coexist. It's really our only option. Huh? You don't get to decide any of this! I'm tired. I sleep now. Wait a minute! Hey, you're just doing that to get out of this discussion! Use me with care. <sighs> so I guess I'm supposed to clean up this mess. Don't I get any bacon and eggs? You said you didn't want any yesterday. I thought you told me that I needed to eat a proper breakfast. And I'd like more toast, too, please. I sure do wish you'd make up your mind. Look at that. There have been even more of these attacks. Another murder? Uh-huh. A mother and her daughter were killed just last night. Their bodies were found savagely mutilated, and now it looks like the father has disappeared without a trace. Somebody else was decapitated, and there was another hacked up and hung out like the laundry. Can we Yeah. Hey, Shinichi, check it out. Huh? Hmm? You're okay with them now? Huh? What do you mean? Well, that was a bug. This is a different route from yesterday. Oh, so you're awake. Where is it you're going? I decided to go talk to the police. Oh, don't do that. You know they'll just take you and turn you into their lab rat and run all sorts of experiments on you. Your life will never be the same again. Okay, well then what do you suggest? I told you this morning. Cooperation and mutual coexistences. Stop! <laughs> Keep your voice down. I sense one of my own. <laughs> Yes, one of my species. I feel him. There's more of you? Wait, how do you know it's there? I just what? feel it. Something like brainwaves. It's my first time sensing it, but I can tell. It's definitely out there. About 200 meters. You mean to tell me someone else out there has gone through the same thing I have? Right. Go right. Shinichi? Hmm? At the next intersection, turn left. It would seem that they have sensed me, too. <laughs> what is it? Keep moving. So if it's one of your species or whatever, then could it be someone whose brain was eaten? It's possible. Then no way! That's too screwed up! 
I would like to find out exactly what sort of being I actually am. That sort of information would be quite valuable to you as well. Uh, okay, okay. Another 20 meters. Around that corner. It seems to be eating. Huh? It's a dog. It's eating another dog. So I'll see. You failed. Your host is not optimal. I also am dissatisfied with this host. Run! Run! Hurry! Where are we going? You told me to take you there, and now you're telling me to run away! I sense its murderous intent. You're still human. It harbors suspicion of you. It wants to fight. We'll do it here. Uh, what? You want to fight that thing? There's no choice. If it kills you, I will die as well. We're in this together. Here it comes. Uh, what the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, this cannot be happening. There really are more of you out there. Yes, but this one's core was the head. It controlled the host by manipulating the nervous system, but it made a crucial mistake when it altered its body to grow wings. That caused its core to alter and its focus to disperse, creating an opening. But it... it was still one of your own kind, though. It's because of the canine. Maturation and environment were factors, but it was lax with its studies. Research is the reason I won. It's like I'm talking to an insect. It doesn't have a shred of sympathy. Shinichi. That's cold. Not long ago, someone on Earth had a passing thought. All life is sacred, must therefore be protected. <laughs> I don't think my stomach can hold all four of you. Your stomach? Seems two swings was more force than necessary. I should probably change my appearance as well. I 
take it you don't feel the need to go to the police anymore? Uh-huh. I think I realized that if I ran into another one of you parasite things without you, I'd be a pretty easy target to kill. A very wise decision. You know, I should probably give you a name. No thanks. I do not have the needs of human beings, nor am I your pet. Well, I need to call you something. I can't just call you you or righty. In that case, you can call me Miggy. What? Miggy? Well, sure. It means the same thing, but doesn't sound nearly as silly. Well, I'm not so sure if I'd say that. Well, you're the one who wanted a name. I see no need for them anyway. Talking to yourself. You practicing your pickup lines? Huh? Uh, well, I should probably go get changed. Hold it! I've had my eye on Murano since we were both in middle school. Oh, yeah? Is that so? You stay away from her. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to. <laughs> God, what's your deal, man? Come on, get up! You too much of a wuss to fight back? Come here! Uh, uh, uh. If Miggy gets involved, this guy's gonna get seriously messed up. You're even weaker than I thought you'd be. Don't do it. Take it easy. You need to hold back, you idiot. An idiot? That word is to be used when addressing a being of lower intelligence. You didn't kill him, did you? He'll be just fine. I'm detecting urine in your bladder. It isn't healthy to suppress your excretory functions in this manner. Shinichi. Uh, Jesus, seriously? I told you not to talk whenever there's people around. Please hold still. I'm going to try to make your sex organ erect. What the hell you are? 
No, 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 stop that! I cannot believe you! Shinichi, that's cold. Be quiet. If you do not wash properly, dermatophytes will propagate, causing such maladies as... Next to a guy talking to his pecker. The mincemeat murders? Yeah. From what I've heard, it seems that they've been happening all over the world. The victims are literally torn to pieces. The police have been trying to keep it quiet, but some really graphic videos have been showing up online. What about the killer? Still out there somewhere. The thing is, there's no way one person could commit so many murders all over the world at the same time, right? There has to be more people involved in this, like some kind of crazy cult or something. Well, what does your brother say about it? He's a detective, isn't he? Yeah, well, I asked him about it the other day, but he won't tell me anything right now. Which hopefully means that the cops and the government are already working on it and trying to figure out a way to solve this thing. So then, I guess this means there's more of your kind out there, huh? Most certainly. When we ran into that canine, I learned something. It would seem that those inhabiting dogs only eat dogs. While those who inhabit humans will thus only eat humans. Essentially, we are cannibalistic. What are you thinking, Shinichi? Should we really stay quiet about this? What exactly do you mean by stay quiet? Uh, killing people left and right. What do you mean, run wild? <laughs> Don't you get it? Only we know what they really are. At this rate, there'll be more and more victims every day. Which is why. Which is why what? If I take you to them, they can research you and learn what you are. I don't understand. Your logic's a bit difficult for me to follow. My kind are simply feeding to stay alive and nothing more. It's natural for life forms to feed on other life forms. You just find it unpleasant that it's your own kind that is being eaten. Well, yeah, of course. Human life is a precious thing, isn't it? I don't know. I can tell you that I value my own life. Although I've never really considered any other life form to be all that valuable. Yeah, bet you haven't. Because you seem to be more like an animal or an insect. Shinichi, is that an attempt to be insulting? Understand this. If you were to take action in any way that would be harmful to me, I would have no choice but to do everything in my power to stop you. Uh -huh. Your survival depends on me. You're just a parasite. I will protect your life. Although, you don't necessarily need to be able to speak. <laughs> and then... You don't really need to be able to see or hear, either. <laughs> well, we take a little rest. You're a demon. Shinichi, I have done some research into the concept of these demons you speak of, and I would say that humans are the life forms most closely resembling them. Humans tend to kill and eat a multitude of different life forms while my kind simply eats only one or two. We're quite frugal and efficient in comparison. Oh, whatever. I'm not listening. People out there are being killed, and I'm the only one who truly knows what the killers are. Me. Hmm. Such a shallow breed. They grind cows and pigs into feed and then act so surprised when it happens to them. Hmm. Well now, isn't this unusual? It's one of my own. Shinichi. One's coming this way. Huh? Out to our left. There are too many people for me to identify the individual, but I'm certain that one's there. We need to fall back. A single misstep now, and it could mean another fight to the death. Walk faster. It's getting closer. Maybe it wants us to join your little cannibal club. Shinichi, where do you think you're going? It's 40 meters away, right behind you. And it's gaining on us. I'm going to meet him. I want to look this murderer right in the eye. Don't be so foolish. 
you'll get yourself killed. And I guess you'll just have to protect me. This is different. We won't be up against a dog this time. No one will be able to see us back here. I have much to learn about the human mind. You seem to be completely numb to fear right now. Tell me, why is that? A lot of people have been killed since these murders began. If I don't do something, Moreno could be one of them. I know you think that I shouldn't do anything about it, that I should let these things go on killing people, but I can't. I've got to fight. Fight for humanity. For humanity, then. I see. Need your help. Miggy, please. Five meters. <gasps> Now I see. So this is the reason you were running away. Your host's brain is still completely intact and functional. A rather dangerous situation, wouldn't you say? Shut the hell up, you monster! Excuse me? Stop right there. If you attack this human, I will be forced to retaliate and destroy you. Take it easy. I understand. I can appreciate where you're coming from. But you must realize, you do have the option of simply moving over to me. A transfer? I don't think relocation's possible at this point. What's that? Looks like you still have a lot to learn. Relocating from a mere appendage to a more complex structure would indeed be impossible. That said, moving from one arm to another is simple. for you to join me. You should fit quite nicely. For it's time to transfer. Once we inhabit the same host, we'll both become more powerful. What's the matter? It's simple. Kill your human and relocate over here. I'm losing a lot of valuable blood. If the two of us manage this body at the same time, we could live upwards of 140 years. Uh, uh, You're wasting time, but you will have no choice in the matter if your host no longer has a head. Why would, why would you do such a thing? What the, what the hell is wrong with you? Do you realize what you've done? My body. I need my body. I need my body to survive. I need my body to survive. save my life? I was simply unsure if such a relocation was possible to achieve. The only life I consider important is my own, so I chose the safest option. Very tired. I must sleep now. My body. I need my body. I need my body. I'm not sure how to take this. Migi put my life over one of his own kind. Maybe he was only concerned with saving himself, but still... Miggy, you awake? Mmm, so good! Mm. You know, if you're not enjoying yourself, you could say so. Uh, uh, no, no, it's really great! Mmm, mmm, delicious! Yeah, I am so not buying that. <laughs> My parents are pretty strict about me leaving the house nowadays. Huh? Why's that? Well, because of everything that's been going on. You know, the mincemeat murders. Oh, it's right. just awful. I mean, they're getting cut to pieces. What's wrong with people? Man, if she ever found out about Miggy, she would completely freak out for sure. Um, is something wrong? Mm-hmm, yeah, of course. Except worms, they're creepy. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> hey, come over here! Come on, come on! 
I want to play in the sandbox. <laughs> Dude, you suck. It's my turn. That's horrible. Let's go. I cannot watch this. Yeah, who could? <laughs> huh? Who's this clown? Hey, you guys. You really need to cut it out. Huh? Oh, wow. Oh, come on. We're just playing around, man. Yeah, try minding your own business. It is a living, breathing thing. Not a toy for you to play with. It's alive, just like you. Loser! Seriously, dude? What a tool. right about us. Maybe human beings aren't so sacred. Maybe, maybe we're the demons after all. to do I didn't judge anybody you're crazy why would you say that this year's Kayam of fantasy literature award the winner is uh it's Dayoshimi seventh transformation right uh-huh you read it it's about a guy that somehow gains the ability to communicate with reptiles. It's completely ridiculous. Hmm. Huh? Not this again. That brings the total to 84. More mincemeat murders? I hate to say it, but it doesn't even surprise me anymore. Dinner was great. Hmm? Thanks. But honey, you didn't even eat half of it. Yeah, sorry. I maybe actually knows the truth behind all these horrible killings. I just don't know what to do about it. Shinichi! Huh? Morning. Morning. You know, Shinichi, you've changed recently. Huh? I have? Yeah. Really? What are you talking about? Shinichi. Huh? I swear I just heard a voice. Look down here. Miki. That feels really weird, you know? What's wrong, Shinichi? Uh, nothing. I'm fine. One of my kind is near. Again? It's approaching rapidly. But there haven't been any mincemeat murders around here. Perhaps the bodies simply haven't been found yet. It's currently about 70 meters away from us. 60 meters. <gasps> Not here. It's inside the building. Inside this cool. Where is it? Who is it? Is it a 
guy? Or a girl? Approximately 30 meters away. 30. <gasps> Don't make eye contact. It will find us. It's looking for us as well, but it seems unable to pinpoint our location in the crowd. Welcome. Good morning, students. I'd like to introduce our new math teacher, substituting for Mr. Matsuyama. He had to be hospitalized after the unfortunate traffic accident two days ago. Now then, I present to you Miss Tamiya. I'm Ryoko Tamiya. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's her. What? And as of today, Mr. Yamamoto will be the new homeroom teacher for class 3 3. Oh my god. Murano's class. Therefore, Miss Tamiya will act as assistant homeroom teacher. No eye contact, Shinichi. she has managed to successfully maintain their position in society. Plus, she functions as a teacher of humans. She appears to be quite gifted. What are you praising her for? We have to do something. What do you mean? Well, what if we don't? She's gonna eat everybody. No, I highly doubt that. She wishes to blend in with human society. I do not believe that she would use anyone in her immediate social circle as a food supply. Therefore, I believe they should be safe. You don't know that. We should just observe her for now. With everything that's going on right now, how can Miki go to sleep? I mean, what if she suddenly tries to... All right, Kai. I want you to use this formula to solve problems 6 through 12. Mr. Izumi. Oh my god. Is there a problem? You don't appear to have made any progress. Huh? Uh, no ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> me, would you please visit me in the counselor's office later? Thank you. What did you do? Uh, dude, how did you do huh? that? Hey, Jesus, what do I have to do to get myself called to the teacher's office? Hello? What's wrong with what's sitting right here? Shinichi knows. Whatever. You can't <laughs> teach me all the things sweet, mature, hottie Miss Tamiya can. But I don't understand it. What she want with squirrely-ass Shinichi huh? doesn't really make sense. <gasps> what's that supposed to mean? Why you gotta be such a jerk, huh? You don't know what you're missing. Shinichi. She's approximately 10 meters away right now. Oh, so you're awake. Excuse me. Please, come on in. Well then, Mr. Izumi. You are aware of what I am, yes? Yeah. Yeah. That's no way to speak to your teacher now, is it? Oh, there's no need for you to be so anxious. You should know it. Your right hand should know that. Besides, if we fought in such close quarters, we'd both end up being mortally wounded. I'd like the opportunity to speak with you a bit more. You think you have time to meet with me after school today? Okay. Huh? But what if it's some kind of trap? I am totally against this. How predictable. Why must humans always be so irrational? What's that? If I wanted to kill you, I already would have. <gasps> I am curious, however, because I've never seen a case anything like yours before. I wish to collect more data. I'd like to exchange information with you and discuss our future. Future? Well, that's all for now. Hey, 
Hey, Miss Tamia. Yes? Uh, do you have any plans this afternoon? I do. I have some student counseling sessions. Oh, okay. If you'll excuse me. Hey, I'm going to the bookstore. Do you want to come with me? Mm-hmm. Uh, is that... Shinichi, you should roll up your sleeves. Why should I do that? We're not getting into a fight, are we? Perhaps. Something's coming. Huh? Actually, two of my kind are coming. Huh. So it really was a trap? There's no way to know that for sure yet. Shinichi, it would be really helpful right now if you could slow down your heart rate a little bit. It's making me feel anxious. I can't do that. Sorry for the wait. I'll keep this short. Meet Mr. A. Just A? Yes, he has no name. What is this creature? Can we even call him one of our kind? That's enough. There's no merit in killing one another in a place as public as this. Interesting. So at this point, you've only encountered those two types so far. Yeah. Now, I'd like to know. In your opinion, what exactly do you... From everything I've seen, your monster's here to feed on the human race. But you see, Mr. A and I have experimented and had sex with each other. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Oh, my God. And the result might surprise you. I am now pregnant, Mr. Izumi. <laughs> so then, here's a question. This thing that I have currently growing inside my body, what do you think it might be? Uh, well, uh... A human. A normal one. Good answer. Yes, the child I am carrying is human. An ordinary human baby. In which case, what do you think that makes us? I have no idea. Nor do I really want to find out. What I do know is that you eat humans in order to keep your human host alive. And that's what we call cannibalism. Why would you do something like that? Have you ever tried asking your little friend that question? I receive nutrients directly through Shinichi's blood, so I do not experience hunger. Therefore, I am also at a loss to understand our own kind's alleged necessity for cannibalism. Our species cannot reproduce, and we engage in a sort of pseudo-cannibalism. I'm not really sure what to call us. I've given it some thought, and I can- Even life forms? Or what? Either way, I don't think you're from this planet. <gasps> I'm leaving now. Whether or not I find out exactly what I am isn't going to change anything for me. I eat when I feel hungry, and I get rid of anyone in my way. And that is it. That one is dangerous. He must be eliminated. We didn't merge with our host the same way. Now. Humans do sometimes act illogically, so I will give you a warning. If you think of me as an enemy, and decide to make some kind of scene, the disadvantage is yours. You can't change your face. I've decided it's in my interest to protect my current human identity, so I will not behave irrationally. But if I were provoked, an entire classroom. <laughs> We'd all be dead in mere seconds. I believe you have friends in that class, do you not? <laughs> Shinichi? Is that you? She's something else. She was capable of making you suffer an intense amount of fear. <laughs> Shinichi, that's cold. Yesterday, you took the bus somewhere. Where did you go? Marino was worried about you. Oh, nowhere. Shinichi, we are under attack. 
I sense nothing but huh? pure killing intent. Tavia, are you okay? Idiot. study hall class. Who do you think would try to attack us? Probably the one from yesterday. Excuse me, sir. You are not allowed to be on school property without a badge from the office. You need to come with me. Sir. He just neutralized three obstacles. Are you saying that he killed some people? I'm not sure, but he's very forceful. Dear God! This is terrible! We need to get the students as far away from here as possible! What? What do you think they want? Huh? Wait, was there supposed to be a drill today? There is an intruder on campus. Damn. Your he's doing this broad daylight. He has no concern for the consequences of his action. He doesn't have the same reasoning as Ryoko Tamiya. Guess not. Where is she right now, anyway? She is approximately 150 meters from here. It would seem that she intends to observe our fight from a safe distance. That's better than finding both of them. regard for being seen. If we run, he's sure to follow us. It's better to finish him here and now. Plus, Rex will have a plan. Huh? A plan? Hey, who the heck have you been talking to? Uh, I'm just thinking out loud. Hey, isn't that him there? That's gotta be him. Huh? He's where? Over there, that old guy. Oh, God. What do you think he wants? Please, stay in line. Keep moving. He's trying to pinpoint your... No, he's trying to pinpoint my location. However, the size of this crowd is preventing him from doing that. And then what? What's gonna happen? What if he does find us? Without a doubt, he's going to attack us. He will come full force, affecting all those who are around us. Fortunately, that will give us an opportunity. Opportunity? Yes. While he's busy attacking all the people around you, I will be able to move in swiftly and surprise him. It's simple, and it has a high probability of success. All those people? That's your plan? Yes, that's the plan. Mr. A will be encumbered by a rather inconvenient obstacle. A crowd of confused students. A wall of flesh will protect us. A wall of flesh? I almost forgot what a sicko you are. Bruno! <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Get out of here! Did you forget something? I'll come with you! I said... <laughs> Oh, I'm really sorry. Just hurry up and get out of here. What's wrong, Shinichi? Do you not like my strategy to fight Mr. A? Of course I don't. How many need to die to do it? Does it matter? It's for the sake of self-preservation. Sacrificing others in order to protect oneself. That's simply the way that all life forms maintain their existence. You know, you learn how to speak like us. But you don't understand who we are at all, do you? I just remembered. Humans are very unique animals that sometimes commit suicide. It's not like anyone wants to die. What is it you're doing? I have a better option than a wall of flesh. Come on, Class 3-2! You need to stay in line! Are you angry, Miki? Angry? No, of course I'm not. I have no time for such things. Shinichi, how do you think we are different from Mr. A? Different? Well, he's a murderer. And I'm a decent human being. But he can be someone else, and I can. There's one of him. So, uh, do you think Mr. A sees us as two separate entities? I don't understand. Uh, 
already done enough. It's not a good strategy to let him go. Look, if we go after him and do it, then that'll officially make me a murderer. That's not a person, Shinichi. I'm going to be killed by a... by a human. That doesn't make any sense. This isn't working. My host is inoperable. I must relocate, if that's even an option now. Yes, Ryoko Tamiya. I will share her host. Where is she? that long before things settled back down again and classes at our school resumed funny how quickly people forget miss tamia must have killed mr a but she's still teaching as if nothing happened i haven't heard about any murders being reported in her area but i'm sure she's out there killing nonetheless i can't sit back and let this happen to reveal the father's identity is most unsettling. It's because you can't reveal who the father is. Mm -hmm. Not that you don't know who it is, right? I didn't expect this. I had never imagined that our time together was going to end this way. <gasps> <gasps> I cannot afford to attract attention over something like this. I think Ryoko oh. Tamiya stays with us. Uh, uh, Miss Tamiya, uh, wait! Please! We should kill Ryoko Tamiya. We can't wait. The child that's growing within her is undeniably a human. Would you be able to kill her baby as well? Shinichi? Ryoko Tamiya no longer exists. Thus, all those in her circle, and that includes you two, now have no particular reason to be kept alive. Why do you keep killing people? My hand lives off the nutrients in my bloodstream. It survives on a diet of normal human food. That means the rest of you, the rest of you can sustain yourselves without eating people. Hmm. It could indeed be possible. Well, all right then. A fly knows how to fly without ever being taught to do so. Huh? Just as every spider knows how to spin a web and every fish can swim. Why is that? Well, I, uh... Here's what I think. I believe that flies and spiders are simply following a directive. In fact, it's my belief that every single life on this planet lives by a directive of some sort. What are you talking about? Do you get this? So then, you feel humans have no directive? Uh, I still don't know what you mean. Like God or something? When I first took control of this human host, I instantly received devour your entire species. <laughs> Look, just please answer me one thing. What is it you plan to do with your baby? Give birth to it. Possibly use it for some experimentation. If it proves useless, it's food. 
Calm down, Shinichi. This distance is not optimal. You've become something of a nuisance. Goodbye. <gasps> She has more than two morph patterns. Not good. Interesting. It would appear you two are conjoined. Ever so slightly. I won't be killing you after all. Hey! Hang on! Ryoko, what on earth's going on? I got a phone call from the school, so I rushed over as soon as I could. Yoko Tamiya's mother. I'm sorry, but I was actually just about to leave. Could we perhaps talk about this later, mother? Ryoko? I'm not going far. I'll be back soon. Wait, please. I need you to look at me. Please, dear. I need you to talk to me. It's not right. Something's very wrong. Who are you? Ryoko? Where's my Ryoko? Tell me, what did you do with my daughter? No, no. I'm calling the police. and my voice strange i doubt this woman had any special sensory abilities or anything migi I can be separated. So what? You went on a little morning walk? No, not a walk, but a movement analysis. Wait, movement? Hey, you're not testing to see how to move up to my head, are you? I already told you that's not possible. I matured without eating a brain, therefore I would not know how to control an entire body. But still, perhaps I should give it a try. Ah, quit screwing around! Wait a second. So then does that mean the ones who've managed to take over a brain can move from one head to another? In fusion, so swapping heads would be quite dangerous. I really doubt anyone would risk it. A trip? Uh-huh. Looks like I could finally take some time off. So we'd like you to keep an eye on the house. The way your father is always working, we haven't had a chance to go on a vacation in a long time. You don't think it's risky? You mean because of the mincemeat murders? Look, those have finally stopped. It's nothing to worry about anymore. But that doesn't mean the killer's not out there. Dad, how can you just go off to some strange place? It's dangerous. So you're against it? Hmm. I am. Hey, don't tell me my big old boy's going to be lonely without his mom and dad. No, no. You know it's just that they're not going to... Who the hell is they? Uh, I... Uh... Look, Shinichi, uh -huh. if you really feel that strongly about it, then we can cancel our trip. Oh, come on, baby. Sweetie, I've noticed that something's been bothering you for a while. Is there something on your mind that you'd like to talk to us about? No, there's nothing to worry about. I'm fine. Is it one of your friends, or maybe... I said it's nothing, okay? I'm going out for a bit. Shinichi. Yeah, yeah, I know. If I ever told my parents the truth about what's happened, there's no telling what Migi might do. The only reason he tries to protect me is because I'm his lifeline. 
But my parents are a different story altogether. He'd eliminate them without any hesitation. Migi has no concept of affection or love. All said and done, there's really no difference between him and Mr. A or Ryoko Tanya. I know that boy is hiding something from us. Well, of course he is. Shinichi is a senior now. I mean, it's only natural that he keeps a few secrets from his parents, right? If anything, he's probably been a little too good up until now. He hasn't even really gone through some rebellious phase and told us how he hated us yet. Well, if you really think so. You know, hon, he might be... He might be having some more guilt about your scar. Huh? You really think so? I mean, that happened such a long time ago. Mommy, can I have a silver plate? A silver plate? Yeah, it's for an experiment in science class tomorrow. Oh, by silver you mean an aluminum foil plate. I see. Uh-huh. That and I'm making tempura right now, so uh, you'll just have to wait I until can get it. Uh, uh, Would you please just wait? Uh, Shinichi! Uh, uh, be careful! Probability. My kind prefer urban areas where food is plentiful. Furthermore, their targets are normally people who are out by themselves. If your parents travel out to the countryside, they will be safer than they are now. Okay. Guess I shouldn't have been so against it when they brought it up. Shinichi? Uh, 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 what now? Were you uh, just talking to somebody in here? No, nope, just to myself. What do you want? Huh? Well, dinner's going to be down in just a few minutes. And, uh, Mom? The next time you come up here, could you not before you just open up the door? Can I have some privacy? Oh, okay, son. I'm sorry. I seriously thought I was going to have a heart attack. If that were to happen, it would be an inconvenience for me. Your son was yelling at me just now. Yeah, he's probably up there whacking off or something. I said I was against your trip this morning, but I take it back now. Honestly, I think it's a good idea for you guys to get away from everything and go relax somewhere with some nice fresh air. So, when do you leave? Uh -uh. I don't get it. Huh? I just don't understand you, Shinichi. Uh what on earth is going on with you? You were so dead set against it this morning. I mean, you were very adamant. And now you're saying something completely the opposite? So now you're not so worried about your parents, is that it? Oh, now I get a guilt trip? Maybe you're the one with the problems here, Mom. I don't get this. In fact, something is different. And it's like you're not my son anymore. Baby, please. <laughs> please, why won't you tell me? What's happening to you? Shinichi. I didn't want to be alone. At least I didn't this morning. But when I talked to a friend about it, he just laughed at me, and I changed my mind. So I think I'm feeling better about it now. If I do get lonely, I can just invite someone to come over. That's really all there is to it. Guys understand, right? The taxi should be here in a couple of minutes. This will probably be the first time we've been gone this long. It should be really fun. You know? Back when we were living in the old apartment, we couldn't even afford to take trips. 
Right. We could barely afford the apartment itself. It was in that little bitty kitchen where I wound up with this. Uh, uh, well, take care of the place. Uh, mm -hmm. And be sure to turn off the stove and lock the door. I will. And don't be worried about us. Okay, buddy? Okay. We'll be back. body will die soon. I'll use the pan. I see. The belt does serve a purpose. My only choice is to relocate to this man's body. There should be no difference in controlling a male host. Sever the head, fuse with the host, and regenerate. It must all be done. supposed to mean? I'm not certain, but the reason could lie in the network of your nerves and bodily fluids that are linking my body to your brain. Huh? It's possible your brain may be undergoing some kind of change as well as your body. Ryoko Tamiya was probably able to sense it and notice something about you that seemed inhuman. She thinks I'm not a human? The only thing not human about me is you. I'm not so sure. It would not surprise me if you had changed somehow, particularly at the psychological level. <gasps> Going to sleep now. Hey, wait a second. <sighs> We're conjoined. nothing wrong with me. Something is just... something is different. You know, Shinichi, you've changed recently. I'm not gonna kill and eat people. I don't know what's going on here, but I think he's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Got anything else? 
else you want to say, Four Eyes? <laughs> I'm thinking the little shit wants another one. Just forget it. It's kind of pitiful. Look, pal, we've got some business with your boyfriend here, so get lost. One thing I don't understand about the human psyche is the notion of self-sacrifice. Doing something to assist another being at a cost to oneself is unnatural. I do not see the benefit in this at all. The human psyche? That's it. Human beings are different from parasites. Uh, hey! I said to stop it! It's not much of a fight when you have someone outnumbered. Yo, dude. You sure you want to do this? Huh? Yeah, I do. Might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Don't you think you're overdoing it a little? Not yet. You heard the dumbass. He was asking for it, right? Oh, no. Nigga's not gonna know what this is about. All right, that's enough. It's kind of lame to pick on someone so weak and sad. Must be your lucky day. Mind your own business. It's less painful. Jesus Christ, man, you crazy? Maybe. I was probably pretty stupid, huh? But hey, that's the kind of stuff that separates us from the animals, right? <laughs> oh my God, what happened to you? Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm okay. I asked him that too, and he wouldn't tell me either. Did you get in a fight or... <laughs> hey, Shinichi, huh? the guy just got through telling me. He said you took on Mitsubo's whole crew. I wouldn't say I took them on. They killed me. Look at my face. Those guys have been doing more and more crap like that lately. If they try anything else, you let me know, okay? Oh, sure. Uh, it's you. So I guess you have a girlfriend? What do you want? Why didn't you run away earlier? just couldn't. You barely even know that guy and stood up for him, and you got your ass kicked. This guy's not quite right, is he? Do what? What's that supposed to mean? I can see through you. You can pretend to be all self-righteous, but I know that you're up to something. What's her deal? I don't know. Dear Icona. Point. Leave him alone! 
Well, sometimes a human can't back down from a fight. There's a difference between humans and animals. Maggie, I don't have much feeling in my hand. Give me full control. Sorry, you got something to say. You'll have to speak up. majority overpowering the minority. These humans actually make much more sense than you do, Shinichi. Looks like it's time for some payback, you son of a bitch. You think because you brought some friends you got a chance? You've made a big mistake. <laughs> Genitalia are actually quite different from the female. I can't seem to control them very well. Something's wrong. I can't move. Damn, it's rejecting me. I can no longer merge with the body of the opposite sex. I must find a woman. Leaving the urban area was a mistake. I must find a new host and relocate. Look, it's not like I can't walk or anything. Fine, really. Uh, no, you're not. I'm really sorry. There's nothing that you need to apologize for. Because uh, I mean, uh, your left hand sure got messed up pretty badly. Uh, how about that? Tell me, do you think that I'm weird? I seem normal to you. Oh, no. You are not normal at all. I'm not? Well, you're kind of cool. Huh? Mm -hmm. You risked yourself to help a friend. Not many normal people out there would do that. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <gasps> of course. I've never known anyone who would try something like that, knowing you couldn't win. You did a really good thing. Oh. Okay. My parents are out of town right now. Do you maybe want to stay over? Uh, no thanks. I should go. <laughs> Very disappointing. I'd hoped I'd get the chance to see humans mate. Oh, go to sleep. Who are you talking to? You followed me home? I just came to apologize. Okay, then. A truce? Uh. Well, at the very least, we don't have a problem, do we? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm really tired. You should be careful when it comes to that female. It seems she is able to sense, however slightly, wavelengths that should only be perceptible to parasites. Well, she is human, right? I've noticed Murano is also a very perceptive person, but this girl is on a whole different level. You should stay away from her. Kind of makes all that rushing around to get here worthwhile, doesn't it? We should come back here. <laughs> and bring Shinichi with us. <laughs> <gasps>
Nobuko! Huh? <sighs> Your diet appears to be unbalanced. You don't even know what this tastes like. Your mother always prepares nutritionally appropriate meals. Well, I can eat like that again tomorrow. It's from a public phone. Yeah, Dad? Oh, what's wrong? Your mom. I'm going to the police. I'll get that damn monster if it's the last thing I do. What is it? Dad? Mom? What's going on? What is this place? Where does we go along? It'd be nice to just relax and take it easy. Dad? Where's Mom? That goddamn monster. She's not a monster. She's... Dad, you gotta call me back. I gotta figure out a way to find them. Shinichi, you really need to get some sleep. A monster. That's exactly what Dad said on the phone. I know that can only mean one thing. Hmm. Hold on, Shinichi. Huh? I'm detecting one of my kind nearby, and it's coming directly toward us. This is all your fault. I was against them taking the trip in the first place. But you said they'd be safe. You said it would be fine. I never said that it would be fine. I merely pointed out that in terms of probability... Shut up! I should have told them about what was really going on when you showed up in the first place. I understand there's a lot you'd like to discuss right now, but I need you to focus on the battle that's about to commence. <clears throat> no, you won't need a weapon this time. I will eliminate it before it's able to determine whether or not we are friend or foe. I can't face this thing unarmed. I'm so full of hate right now, I'm going crazy. Those damn monsters. It stopped moving. It's just outside. How could it unlock the door? has not yet returned. What's that, Mom? That's not your mother. You know that. Uh, welcome back. Mom, are you doing okay? What's the matter? This is a unique situation. A merge with the hand is highly unusual. One of my kind has taken over your mother's head, Shinichi. Huh? My hand? Yeah, I'm so sorry, Mom. I mean, I really couldn't. I, uh, I mean, it's kind of crazy, right? No, she needs to Just shut up! Am I to assume the male is now dead? I see. Then I must go back and confirm whether or not he's actually been eliminated. The knife, it's in my way. Put it down. So, yeah, I know having a talking right hand is pretty weird. I mean, hard to believe, right? Just the hand. How unlucky. Without taking the head, you find yourself under human control. Stop it, Mom! I'll tell you everything I've been hiding from you. Just please, stop talking like that! Shinichi, you have to see what's happening. Your mother is already- Shut up! Just shut up! You don't know what you're talking about! Shinichi. If you keep talking, I swear I'll cut you off! Please, Mom! It's okay. You remember it, right? The scar on your arm. Every time I see it, I feel guilty. 
And Mom, I... I want to apologize. the boy's heart your human host is now dead and you will follow in a matter of minutes now you must accept your fate as one who was unsuccessful in seizing the head there's no time to waste a direct hit to the heart is critical and cannot be repaired very quickly at this rate Shinichi's brain will soon be rendered inoperable My only available option is to merge myself with his heart. As I am sealing the wound, I must initiate heart function while also circulating the blood within myself. The parasite we just encountered seems to have successfully relocated to another host's head, but this is a far riskier venture. <sighs> Gradually return to his right hand through his bloodstream. Huh? Shinichi's absent again today? Yeah. I heard the teacher tried calling his house a few times, but no one answered. I'm really worried. Wanna swing by there later? Yeah, sure. Oh, but we don't know where he lives. I do. I sort of went home with him after school the other day. Huh? Hey, Murano. <laughs> I didn't know you and Shinichi were a thing. Is it serious? What? No! I mean, we're not a thing. Oh, yeah, excuse me. You just went home with him casually. <laughs> Akiho, this is none of your business. Quit being so nosy. Get your own life, all right? Come on, I want all the juicy details. What did you do it So, help? are Shinichi and Murano really dating? Uh, well, who cares? What? Come on, girls, spill it. Give me some dirt. Could you just drop it? Seriously. Her? Sugar. together or something. Maggie? Did Maggie heal me? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a dream. Hospital. 
Have I reached Mr. Kazuyuki Izumi's residence? Yes. Oh, my dad! That's my dad! Oh, don't worry. He's fine. He's getting some rest at the moment, but he's in stable condition and he's not in any danger. I just wanted to suggest, when you come to visit, if you could bring him a change of clothes. I'll be right there. So I was worried that maybe you had gotten sick and you were just laid up here all by yourself. Found out my dad was in an accident while they were away. Uh. Wow. Your mom must really be struggling right now. Uh. <gasps> Look, I won't be back at school for a while. So I thought I'd see if you're all right. Are you from Sakurazaki? Yeah, I am. So, do you know Sakurazaki Hospital? Oh, yes, I know where that is. So, Mr. Izumi, it was the night of the 18th, correct? That's when you say your wife was killed. Yes. Has she? Has my wife's body been found yet, Detective? Mr. Izumi, I believe your wife is very much alive. <sighs> on the 18th, that's the day on which you reportedly struck your head and fell into the ocean, your wife returned to the hotel alone about 9 p.m. That's impossible! We did confirm. The staff at the hotel's front desk said they spoke with her. <sighs> she told them you had to leave on urgent business, but that she would stay on for one more night. Then she checked out the following morning. No! That can't be right! It had to be somebody else! Um, sir, the hotel staff confirmed the burn mark located <laughs> on the same person who arrived with you. <laughs> Mr. Izumi, in my opinion, I believe that the terrible shock you suffered is causing you to confuse reality from before your traumatic accident with perhaps a nightmare you had afterwards. No way. That was not a dream. I know what I saw! This is it! Thank you so much. <laughs> See ya! Yes, he's right down there. Sorry that I made you worry, son. Dad, but Mom, she's... I can't handle this. It hurts so much I can barely talk. And I can't even cry. Shinichi, what's wrong? It's Mom, Dad, she's... Shinichi, about that. It seems that something has happened. Uh... But Dad, you saw it! Saw what? What do you mean? 
Well, the doctor says that I'm confused. Like, looks like I hit my head pretty hard, son. But, Dad... No. I've asked the police to keep up their search for her. The doctor wants me to stay here for a while longer, but it's nothing serious, so please don't worry. Don't worry? How can you even say that? Shinichi, did something happen back home? What? Well, of course something happened! Mom has been murdered by some monster! Dad, you know that! Is that what I told you? I told you all that nonsense? On the phone? Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was losing it. What? Does he really think it's all in his head? Son, I'm going to recover and be just fine. I want you to try and take it easy for a few days and go back home. I know it's tough, but hang in there just a little bit longer. If you have any problems, then you can always go to your uncle's house. Dad, I need to tell you something. Hmm? It's about Mom and the monster- Shinichi! Uh. Please! He's crying. He knows, doesn't he? He knows that Mom is dead. I want to tell him the truth about what that monster really is. About the creature that killed her. If only Miki... If only Miki was actually an ally of humanity. Here, I brought you some clothes. So, where are you going to stay, Shinichi? Here, with you. Come on, you know you can't get a good night's rest in here. They told me about a hotel that's right by the beach. That's where you should be staying. I'm at a hospital, and Niki's asleep. This could be my chance to get him looked at. No, now's not the time. I need his abilities to find the enemy, and fight them. I hate to admit it, but I have no choice but to trust Miki and rely on him. Huh? The Sakurazaki Hotel. Is that far away from here? Um, no, not far at all. In fact, it's just a few blocks away from here. A few blocks? That's at the edge of Miki's ability to detect our enemies. To make it in time. This is perfect. Right behind the hospital. Hello? Excuse me! Uh, uh. I guess you'll be needing a room. It's you. <laughs> hey, Mom! We have a guest checking in! Dad must have seen it. He saw Mom get killed. At some point, I'm going to have to tell him everything I know. But for now, I just have to keep him alive. And avenge Mom's death. Excuse me. Your dinner's ready for you downstairs. Get it while it's hot. Thanks. <laughs> I could totally tell that she was coming. Are the walls that thin? Or has my hearing somehow improved? Shinichi. I thought I might keep this to myself, but I've decided to... The feelings you have for your family are incredibly strong. However, your feelings for me are practically non-existent. Actually, I know you think of me as more of a hindrance at best. And while we do act as allies, one could say that we are really enemies forced into a difficult situation. Yeah, so what's your point? You see, during the time that I was repairing your damaged body, it would seem that my body underwent a change as well. A change? That's correct. I have now developed a weakness that others of my kind have never experienced. Every day now, for about four hours, I fall completely and totally asleep. That's it? But you've always gone to sleep. Not like this. Previously, even the slightest disturbance would awaken me immediately. For instance, if you were surprised or if your breathing was uneven. Or if one of my associates approached within 300 meters. Associates? Correct. But since this change has occurred, 
It appears that while asleep, I am able to detect nothing. So if an enemy were to appear during that four hour sleep cycle, it would mean the end for both of us. Repairing your heart meant that I had to spend an extended period of time detached from your arm and slightly altered. Why would you wait so long to tell me about this? Well, ever since one of my fellow parasites killed your mother, you have been harboring a great deal of hostility toward me. You must realize that revealing one's weakness to an enemy is extremely dangerous, so that's why I said nothing until now. However, I determined that if you weren't made aware of this problem, the situation would become even more dangerous for us both. Do you understand? Yes, I do. But I don't really think of you as an enemy anymore, Miki. You did save my life, you know. That's not entirely accurate, of course. Since there was my life to consider as well. Morning! Oh. Good morning. Oh, hey! There's more color in your cheeks. Yesterday you were looking kind of ragged, you know? So I guess you slept well then. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's been a while since you were able to read the paper, huh? It has. When I fell into the water, my tablet and my cell phone were both... ...ones when you get home. Uh-huh. When are you, uh... I'm gonna stay a bit longer and see how things go, okay? Whenever Migi is in a deep sleep... I'll have to use my own eyes to keep watch. I'll try to have Migi sleep during the day if that's possible, when people are around and there's less chance of an attack. Now if that thing does show up here, how would it approach? Migi told me not to fight unless he was awake. But I may not be given a choice. I'll have to defend myself somehow. Besides, I'm not going to run from my mother's killer. Hello there. Hey, uh, it's... it's Makiko, isn't it? You can call me Maki. Have you been sitting out here all this time? I guess you must be really worried about your father, huh? Um, uh, well, yeah. And I don't really have much else to do. Ah. Uh. Um, do you have a girlfriend? Huh? Shinichi, I sense one. It's just about 300 meters away, in the direction of the beach. It's here. Hey, Maki, which way is it to get to the beach? Huh? If you head straight down the road back to my place and... Straight, you'll hit the seawall! Stop! Hold on! Hey! He's so fast! Shinichi, I need to confirm. Yeah, what? Is it all right to kill her? be allowed to roam free in this world. I cannot allow it. You just took off before I got the chance to finish telling you exactly how to get there. To get down to the beach, you're gonna have to circle around the west side. Whoa. I just saw it down at the far end of the bridge. This is it. Shinichi, I have something else I need to tell you. And it's something about you. It is like... You're dead! What the... Uh. Uh. It's not the one I'm looking for. But this one is one of those parasites. What's wrong? Miggy? I've determined that his human brain is still intact. It is? Wow, that is crazy. Just a hand? Oh, how does that guy have a human brain? No, he's telling the truth. I really do have a human brain. It's totally for real. Can you believe this crap? <laughs> 
Yes, Shinichi. The brain is indeed still intact. From the lower half of his face to the base of his neck, perhaps down to his chest is the parasite. Yep, that's right. Oh, hey, guys, that means we're, like, practically the same. <laughs> she never really said anything about what was wrong, but my guess was that she just got tired of me. I've never been the most exciting guy. In fact, I'm so pathetic. I didn't even have the guts to go through with killing myself. surprised to see you. When this guy suddenly tells me that one of my kind is coming closer, I was pretty nervous about what sort of monster we were going to run into. But when you showed up, man, was I relieved. I mean, wow, there are actually other people out there who are like me. So I am dying to know. Tell me your story. How'd you get like this? Yeah, yeah, totally. Tell us. Sure. But before I do that, do you think maybe we could go somewhere else, please? Hmm? My name's Shinichi Izumi. And this is Miki. The thing is, we need to stay close to a certain place. Ah, well, I'm a Moru Uda. And this guy, you can just call him Parasite. That's right, you can just call me Parasite. Wait, where the heck did he go? It's like he just disappeared. <laughs> That's awful. It's just completely awful. That's why you stayed so close to the hospital this whole time. It must be so hard. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I swear to God, humans operate at all. I feel the same way sometimes. I can't help but notice your Miki speaks quite well. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably because he reads whenever he gets the chance. Well, I learned how to talk from watching a whole lot of TV. I mean, all this guy does is sit on the couch and watch old reruns and cry. How about your host? Does he spend all of his time crying? Hey, look, that is just about enough. Okay, I work at the hotel that's just in the next town over. And once he tells me one of those things is around, I will let you know. Uh, please let us help you out. I mean... You're the first person I've met like me and... This guy really is a guy, <laughs> But I'm glad I met him. It feels good to know that I'm not the only one out there like this. Shinichi. Shinichi. It's really late, Miki. What? What do you want? This is very important. I wanted to talk to you earlier today, but in meeting Uda and his parasite, I missed my chance. Did you notice, Shinichi? First, you ran at the speed of a seasoned athlete. And then you jumped more than three meters high. What about it? That doesn't seem odd to you? Okay. See? Doing this kind of thing takes practice, you know. If I divide into two parts like this, each of the halves is still fully capable of thought and speech. 
But if I start dividing into parts that are too small, our intelligence will diminish to where we're incapable of thought, much less rejoining together, and those parts would be unable to survive. Okay. That's why, whenever I do divide, a consensus is reached beforehand, and it acts as a mantra. An instinct to come back together as one. Uh, all right then. I think I get it. Then again, there are places where even my smallest fragments, they are still able to survive. For example, a place where there is a constant flow of fresh blood. In other words, they can survive inside your body. In my body? Are you serious? Yes, that's right. In fact, the Migi that's talking to you right now is actually only about 70% of the original. <gasps> when I closed the wound in your heart, I instructed all my parts to return to your right arm via your bloodstream. However, once it was restored, your heart was much stronger than I had expected, so quite a lot of me was dispersed throughout your body. <laughs> They've become so small that I can no longer communicate with them. Unbelievable. Just when I thought you couldn't tell me anything else that could surprise me. If there had been no physiological changes, I was going to keep quiet about it. Miki. What is it? You said throughout my body. Does that mean even in my brain? I don't know. But it's not like those tiny fragments have any consciousness. I seriously doubt they would try to enter the capillaries. Is something bothering you? No. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm probably just overthinking things. Before, I felt like my heart was going to explode from everything I was feeling. But I still couldn't cry. It was the same thing today, too. I mean, Uda started bawling his eyes out when he met someone like him for the first time, but not me. How about your host? Does he spend all of his time crying? A hole in my heart. Hey, Maki. Aw, how'd you know I was here? Tell me something. Do I s- Of course you do. What do you mean? Uh, oh, come on! What's going on? Uh, you gotta give me something here. You... You haven't really said anything to me. Uh, Back on the boat, and even now, too. It's like you just sit there with this terrible look on your face. It's like... You're crying inside, but you're holding it all in. Uh, it... It makes me worry. Sorry. Just... just forget it, okay? Oh, it's Uda. It's here now, a parasite, and I'm pretty sure it's the one you're looking for. <gasps> so, is it headed this way? No, it seems to have noticed me and is coming closer. I'm gonna try and stall it somehow until you can get over here. No! Huh? That's crazy! If that thing realizes that you still have a human brain, it's gonna try to kill you! Huh? About another hundred meters! Get out of there! You need to run away right now! Uh, okay, I got it! I'll make my way around the cave and be there as soon as I can! <laughs> Find Uda before it's too late. 
Oh, crap! What do we do? There's nowhere else to go! This is really bad! Even if we get cornered here, you and Shinichi... Huh? Huh? You are the second like this I've met. The second one whose human brain has remained intact. As far as I am concerned, you are nothing more than an unfortunate mistake, and you must be removed. remains human, which causes you to be much less responsive. She's right. You are totally slowing me down. I can feel the effects of your crappy conditioning. But you know, her attacks are kind of repeating. It's just like she's targeting the same spot over and over. She may be strong, but she's not very creative. This battle is all but done. It is time for you to die now. <laughs> when it's difficult to determine where the parasite ends. Destroying the heart is the best approach to eradicating one's opponent. Yes, of course. The heart. <gasps> Another one of us? Strange. The signal is much too weak. It's as if the parasite is asleep. You're alive. My attack should have terminated you. Could it be that my targeting was off? No, that's not possible. You were punctured through the heart, yet somehow did not die. Obviously, I should have cut off your head as well. Damn it. Even the voice is still the same. I'm gonna kill you now, and it's gonna be quick. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Like the disgusting monster that you... Huh. My friend. What have you done to Uda? The signal from his right hand is very weak. It's almost as if it's hibernating. This human is all alone. What? Impossible. How could normal human agility be able to evade my attack? I can see it. I can see every move it makes. It's completely different from when I fought Mr. A. There it is. The tentacles move while morphing at the same time. Unbelievable. Uh, Buddha! <gasps> he was the only one. The one person in the world who could understand what I've gone through. Surprisingly well for a human, but now it is time to 
die. I wish I could say this better. Um, how can I put this thing, son? Right up until the very end. Know even now your mother loves you very, very much. And I love you and your mom, too. Dad, I want to ask you something about what you saw. Um, the night everything happened, did, did mom... She... Dad, did she suffer at all, do you think? No. No, it all happened way too fast. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Shinichi? something of a threat to us. He is an exceedingly valuable resource engaging the future potential of our kind. <laughs> Shinichi Izumi. Got it. Yo. Hmm? Mitsuo? Hey, Kana. Uh, you gonna see your boyfriend again? Who? That piece of shit who thinks he's some kind of hero. Just move. I'm going home. What's with you, Kana? That hurts. Let me go. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't tell me you're actually into that douchebag. It is really none of your damn business. Check it out. Look. Mitsuo. Hey, loser. So, did you come by here to kidnap another girl? Where's your buddy? Who? That's some trouble, punk? Huh? Perfect timing. Hey, Shinichi. Mitsuo wants to talk to you. Huh? All right. You again, huh? You and me need to talk. 
This place again? Can we please keep this short? There's someone I have to meet. So did you and Connor hook up or what? Huh? Oh, right. Connor's that girl from the other Don't day. Don't you play dumb with me, you asshole! Listen, you've got it wrong. I haven't seen that girl in a long time, and I was out of town before that. Out of town? Anyway, you got your answer. <laughs> Screw you! Huh? Yeah! Don't. It won't go like before. Eat shit! Come here! Hey, oh! Hey, man. You okay? Did he see? Oh, hey. I was just at the school and... It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Here, we can have your shoe back. <laughs> hey, wanna go in? I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Shinichi, did something happen to you on your trip? Huh? It's just that you seem a little different now. I was just using my dad's injury as an excuse to ditch school for a while. Oh. Hey, uh, you are Shinichi Izumi, aren't you? Well, who's to say? <gasps> else would I be? And you're Satomi Murano, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how I know it, but I'll come right up those stairs any second. Shinichi, are you hungry? I ate. Did you eat? No need. Go easy on the drinking, man. You should probably get some food in your stomach. Yeah. So I was looking online. They recommend hiring a housekeeper for a time like this. Time like this? Well, I mean, because mom or whoever usually cooks the meals and stuff isn't around to do it anymore. Look, boy, how can you even... Never mind. Hire a housekeeper. I don't really think I care anymore. I think I have some sort of problem. What's that? I can't cry. Okay. Is that all? I feel like I've lost something. Like I'm missing an important part of being human. Pure foolishness. Ever since Migi's cells were dispersed throughout my body, my senses have become heightened. My hearing, it's stronger. If I really focus... Oh my, you mean Mr. Hashimoto's son? That's right! Can you believe it? Now we're about to get on track. A collision on that journey from the center of the world. Pigs, 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 pigs. Something wrong? Uh, oh, no, it's nothing. Uh, wait, what was that? Shinichi? I'm sorry, you go on ahead. It's calling out. It's asking for help. Huh? 
Internal organs have been crushed, causing irreparable damage. Death will occur within 10 minutes. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do to help you. Still, this is better than dying in a dirty, noisy street, right? Shinichi? Unfortunately, this guy's not gonna make it. Shinichi, I've been pretty worried about you. Why? Because there's something about you that's really different somehow. You, you used to be more nervous before, you know? It was kind of cute in a weird way. Or maybe comforting, I guess. Mm. But then ever since you came back from your trip, it's like you've just been cold and distant. Maybe I've just been imagining things. You seem like yourself now. It's dead. Huh? It's hard stopped. Let's go. We're already running late. Shinichi! Huh? I don't believe you! How could you do that? You just threw it in the trash can? Are you talking about the stupid janitor? The puppy! It's cruel to that puppy! I'm not sure how that can be cruel. The dog's dead. I know, but Shinichi... It's already gone. It's not a dog anymore. Just a hunk of dog-shaped meat. <gasps> no! What's wrong? I knew you were different. Before, you never would have done... Never! <laughs> Murano. Have I... Have I really changed that much? Miggy. Miggy. What is it? Just then. You heard. I said something strange to her. What was it I did wrong? I don't think you did anything wrong at all from my perspective, but you are very different now from how you were before. Uh. The statement you just made about the dog-shaped meat was the sort of thing that I would be more likely to say. Oh. I guess so. Thank you, Nikki. Nutrients absorbed by this tree. If I had just done this in the first place, Murano wouldn't hate me so much right now. <gasps> oh, Murano! <laughs> uh, I guess today's too soon. I'll give her some space and try again. Shinichi, one of my kind is here. Huh? Don't tell me Ryoko Tamiya is back. No, this seems to be someone different. It can't be Uda and his parasite, can it? So, does that mean this one's here to kill me? I sense no murderous intent. What do I do? For now, I think we should meet them in a public place. What? Meet them? It's possible this is not an enemy. <laughs> Despite being able to sense our presence, its rate of approach is calm and measured. I believe this may be another one similar to Ryoko Tamiya. In other words, it's the type that can possibly be reasoned with. What's that even supposed to mean? He's here. <laughs> yeah, who are you? You're different from how I imagined you would be. You seem quite strong. Why are you at my school? What do you want? Yo, Shinichi! This guy huh? bothering you? I haven't seen you around, buddy. Did you just transfer? <clears throat> Don't interfere. Uh, uh, Hideo Shimada. That's the name you may use to address me. Shinichi, I thought that you... Rather that the two of you and I could be friends. Who the hell is this? Uh, I must go. Shinichi, would you please show me the way to class three? Class three? That's Moreno's class. I'm looking forward to physical education. I believe it's a joint session between our classes today, isn't it? If I go all out, I'd set a world record.
10.8 seconds? No. Oh. It's kind of weird for a transfer this time of year, isn't it? I guess so. He said it was because of his dad's job. Oh. This is total bullcrap. I wish I was at Hide's class. Hide? Hideo Shimada? Hide? Seriously, Akiho, what about Shinichi? I thought you yeah. liked him. Yeah, I mean, don't you? Uh, what? <laughs> Come on. He's with Murano now, isn't he? Uh, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> Sports are good training. The more you practice, the better you become at controlling your body. Why drag this out? You're planning to attack me once I let my guard down. Your assumption is incorrect. I wonder if that's what your right hand believes as well. Just answer me one question. Did Ryoko Tamiya send you to get rid of me? Ryoko Tamiya? Huh. She's going by a different name now. It's true. She is the one who told me about you. But she didn't send me here to kill you. In fact, you'll be pleased to know that I don't intend to lay a hand on you, or any in your circle while I'm here at this school. And furthermore, I haven't harmed any humans for quite some time, nor do I need to. <gasps> I've been sustaining myself on the same sort of food that humans eat. If parasites could exist without killing your kind, there'd be no problem, would there? Like I trust you. The fact is, we've started to explore ways in which we can coexist alongside humans within your society. Given that you two are a bridge between our two races, we were hoping that you would give the idea some consideration. Fascinating. My interest. It has. But a great deal of it is difficult to believe. Oh, really? Whatever the case, I do not wish for conflict either. So I'd say that's enough for today. Let's go, Shinichi. Huh? Why now? <laughs> What's the deal? We weren't even done talking to the guy yet. Shinichi, I'm going to sleep. Huh? You're crashing again? For four hours. There's no telling what will happen if Hideo Shimada learns of this weakness. <sighs> Shinichi. <sighs> I can't believe he did that. But then again, most people would have just ignored the puppy in the first place. Maybe... I shouldn't have said that he's gotten cold and distant. What should I do? If he really is thinking about coexisting with humans, then maybe there's a way we can come up with something to make it work. No, I cannot trust those things. They're merciless. No matter how intelligent they are, they're nothing more than compassionless insects. There's no way I'll ever forget what they've done. One day... About the other day. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. D um. Well, that was great. I sure have a knack for screwing things up. I have a special power. It gives me the ability to sense the presence of my soulmate. There he is. Hello there. Uh Can I help you? Oh, wrong person. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Shinichi. Really? What would make you think that I was Shinichi? Huh? When someone mistakes two people, it's normally because they look similar in one way or another. So, how do Shinichi and I seem similar to you? I told you I was sorry. Hey! What are you doing? I know that voice. Let I just me want go. to talk to you for a little bit. Uh, stop! <laughs> hey! What are you doing to her? <gasps> Let go! Shinichi! I only wanted to discuss some things with her. It would appear that this particular female is rather perceptive. Listen, if anything happens to anyone close to me, I will be coming after you. Oh. <laughs> Shinichi. It's like I keep saying. I don't want to fight you. What's with him? Something cold in his eyes. Interesting. His parasite signal seemed very weak just then. Oh, wow. You're pretty strong, huh? Uh. uh oh, Shinichi! Walk me to the station. I'm scared that creepy guy might be there. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> Not again. 
Again? What the hell? What's wrong? Telepathy? Yeah, that's right. I can tell whenever you're anywhere nearby. But for some reason, I managed to get it wrong just then. But you did finally show up, so it's not like I was totally off. Yeah, but I'm not so sure that's such a good thing. Huh? I mean, whatever it is you think you're sensing, it could be some kind of wavelengths being broadcast by dangerous jerks like him. So does that mean you're a dangerous jerk too? Uh, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I am. So you should probably just stay away from guys like us. You got that? Hmm. Use this face as bait today. Hmm, that sow has had a healthy upbringing, and its skin has a nice sheen. Hello there. Are you lost? Well, I was just... I'd be more than happy to show you around if you'd like me to. Shinichi, tell me, son, when did you suddenly get to be so strong? Mm. It's like you're made of steel. Like a metal shell with nothing left on the inside. his problem. Uh, hey, don't! Shut up! Uh, if I want to fight this jackass, it's none of your damn business. Shimada? This parasite signal is weak again. I wonder why. Is it sleeping? Perhaps if I emit a signal of my own, it should respond reflexively. Especially to murderous intent. Interesting. That heat, eh? Huh? He's kind of a hottie, huh? Oh, I uh, don't really am. Uh, come on, don't even try to hide it. I know you drew his face in your sketchbook, Yuko. Uh, Akiko, that is uh, mine! I mean, he's super cool, isn't he? I think we have a new hottest guy in school. I bet he's a model. Do you think he's a model? It's like he's not the paper. Draw a picture of him for me, too. What do you mean I 
can't tell anyone. In this situation, our greatest fear is that we would cause widespread panic due to a lack of credible information. When people stop trusting one another, it inevitably leads to discrimination and fear. And soon after that, misinformation and mass hysteria will follow. That's my son, Shinichi. Hello there, how are you? In any case, we still have no way to distinguish them from us. And given that, there's simply nothing to be gained by going public at this time. We are truly sorry about the loss of your wife. Nevertheless, to be blunt about the current state of things, this is a problematic situation of having a few thousand violently dangerous killers roaming around the country. Please, take a look. Yes, that's exactly what... So it's able to morph into just about anything it wants. It seems the rumors have become widespread. It appears so. That outcome could have easily been foreseen. But if we continue this practice of preying on them like mindless insects, we will all eventually be hunted down and completely wiped out. Our species is truly weak. Our imperfections are troubling. It's hardly surprising that you would have pondered over and worried about such things. I only have one question. I want to find out the real reason. Why is it we parasites even exist? The answer to that is quite simple. The human race has now become toxic to the planet Earth, which has created a need for balance. So what you're saying is this thing I'm currently nurturing within me is a poison? So I guess they left. Huh, Dad? Mass hysteria. Huh? I need to tell you the truth. It's about... It's about your mother, son. I sat there quietly and listened. I nodded as my father spoke and told him nothing about what I knew. Then finally... Dad told me outright for the very first time that Mom was dead. We've asked Professor Big Mouth for his opinion on when to brush your teeth. Morning, Ah, <laughs> uh, he's asleep again. Hmm? What is this? That's just nasty. Investigation. Oh, is that what your suspect looks like this time? How could this possibly be a suspect? It's a monster. Anyway, what's going on, Yuko? Do you need something? Yeah. Could you take a look at something for me? This your friend? That's pretty nice work. You're getting better and better at this. So do you sense anything? Hmm. Like his personality or like his attitude? Since you drop bases for a living, I just thought maybe you could tell me about him. Come on, you go. Okay. <gasps> he's alone again today. Is he waiting for someone? Or maybe he's watching someone. up with Mirano today. Mirano. About the other day. That was... 
It was nothing serious. That girl was just... She was making fun of me. So, I mean... Shinichi. Oh, Jesus. I sense Hideo Shimada projecting murderous intent. I believe I made myself clear, but if you insist, I'm sure that you'll agree. We should find somewhere away from Prime Eyes. He has four to six targets, most likely all human. The probability that this will turn into a massacre is quite high. Shinichi? If you wish to intervene, I can give you their location. What would you like to do? What choice do I have? Well, Shinichi? I think I've ever met a guy so eager to get pounded. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't really understand how much trouble he's actually in here. Listen up, nobody touches him. I'm taking him down. It's okay. You can all attack together. <laughs> I'm afraid a distraction is on his way here. If you want to do this, do it now. They're right over there. that you want to fight me then. <laughs> Look, I didn't ask to be involved with any of this. Turns out I'm the victim here. Aren't I? You should go. I'll take care of things around here. Oh. Well, I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> you freaking serious? You're just gonna run away? <laughs> well now, aren't you the big hero? Pretty nice of you to get your ass kicked for your buddy. My buddy? You idiots have no idea what you're getting into. So why don't you just go home? And don't ever go after that guy again. I'm talking to you. You are the leader of all these guys, aren't you? <laughs> What the? How did he know that? There's no way he's ever met Yano before. <laughs> what you looking at, pretty boy? <gasps> Morons without a clue shouldn't be mouthing off like that. If they won't listen to reason, then I'll have to try something else. <laughs> curious about what happened to those males. That doesn't concern you anymore. Did you use your new friend? I imagine you beat them all senseless, didn't you? Huh? I did no such thing. Look! Just go! Shimada? Can't stand that <laughs> smug bastard. He tries to act like he's all harmless, but he is full of shit. Shinichi, you're acting different again. And you've never been the type of person to talk like that. It's just not right. Not right? What do you mean? Well, it's like... The Shinichi I know just isn't this kind of person. When you act like this... It feels like you're forcing it. Yeah, well, I'm not, okay? Either way, you're a completely different person than the one I knew. You have changed. I guess that maybe I have. 
But still, I'm not forcing it. So who is it you're trying to be? You just snap your fingers and change who you are? Are you... Are you still... Shinichi? SHUT UP! Fine then. I liked you better before. depending on your perspective. In my opinion, however, you've actually grown stronger as a life form, if not so as a person. You're able to maintain your composure. You recover quickly from sways and mood, and your thoughts are quite logical. When viewed by others, it's no wonder they would perceive that you've changed. Migi, you don't even know what you're talking about. In any case, this mental resilience is a definite plus for you. Is this supposed to be your attempt at trying to cheer me up? Perhaps. But if need be, I will consider alternative ways to improve your psyche. Well, how very nice of you. I know what I saw. It was real. He changed clothes. Where's he going? <laughs> oh, my God. How can he do that? He can turn into someone else? That's impossible! That's like... Uh, no, it can't be. I'm home. Oh, hey there, Yuko. Are you still in your school clothes? I need to ask you something. The truth is, we don't have a clue what these things really are. Some of the theories are that they could be aliens, or mutants, or even bioweapons. But there's one thing you do know for sure, right? That they can change their faces? Yeah, that's what the witnesses all say. Also, these things can speak our language, and they kill people for food. <laughs> do me a favor. Be extra careful if you're out walking at night. Now granted, their numbers are relatively low compared to the whole human race, so it's pretty doubtful you'll even run into one, but you know. Yeah. <sighs> if only we could just catch one of these things alive. Killing people for food. Is that what Shimada's doing? I should tell my brother. But what if it turns out I'm wrong about him? Just have to ask you myself, Shimada. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm not sure if you know who I am, but I've kind of had my eye on you since you got here. I watch you all the time. And that's how, well, I saw you. Now, I don't want to believe you're from another world or anything. If you really do, um, kill people and, and eat them. You go. If... if you do, then I'm asking you to go away. And don't ever come back here again. I... I mean it. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. 
Have you told anyone else about this? Tell me. Do you really do all those horrible things to people, Shimada? So you see, modern and classical Japanese are actually quite different. You have to look coming out the window, right? Yeah, man. Let's go take a look. That sound just now. I think it came from the art room. He's on the move. What? Where? Very strange. I'm not sure it's Shimada. Huh? Its thoughts are disjointed. Or rather, completely incoherent. Hmm? Hey, you two! What was that sound? We think we saw something in the... All right, then. I'll find out what's going on. You guys can go back to class. Huh? Hold on! Sir, wait a second! I have to. I must restore my human form. It's not working. The surface won't respond. This body is stuck in attack mode and doesn't seem able to restore itself. It must be corrected. The dead cells are preventing intercommunication. I have to unify my thoughts. What is this? What am I doing? Okay, son, what's going on? Get that thing off your head and come with me. What? He just killed three entities. become exceedingly scattered. He's quite fast. Right now he's headed toward your classroom. Uh, the classroom? <laughs> I can't get through here. Fighting in these conditions would not be preferable. For now, I recommend we evacuate with the others. I can't believe this is happening again. You mean that killer A lunatic? Who do you think it is? Well, I guess this time it's just gotta be Killer B, huh? What are huh? you doing? Huh? No. You need to leave! Everyone get out of here! Hurry! I think it's Mr. Sasaki beat his pants! He seems more dangerous than, like, any intruder. Once you've confirmed that everyone in your class has made it out, you're to leave campus immediately! Seriously? What about all our bags? You can get them tomorrow! I'm Mr. Vice Principal! Class 3-3 students aren't out here yet. That's Murano's class. Where in God's name are the police? I don't know. They're taking forever. Miki, where's Shimada? So we are going to fight him? Right now I'm more worried about what's happening in class 3-3. Shinichi. It's Murano. 
Reno's class. I don't see her. I don't see her. Where is she? Fine. I liked you better before. This can't be how it ends. I can't. I cannot accept it. Shimada's on the third floor. <laughs> Calmed yourself? Yeah, I'm all right. I will protect Moreno. And to do that, I must take him down. Shimada now. About 60 meters from here, on this floor. <laughs> Two far away, and three more close by. And there's one beast. That's very impressive. It's coming from over there. over here, Marino. But... But how... Shinichi... I know. Something as crazy as this, it's enough to rattle anyone. <laughs> Look, 
You don't have to worry. This is something I have to take care of. I'm not sure if we can get back in. What Shimada was, and we did nothing. And that means we're responsible. Which in my book means one thing. It is up to us to end this. You're saying strange things again. Let the police handle this. Under these circumstances, they will prevail. Police! Don't move! fire won't be enough to bring him down. If they want to kill him, they'll need to decapitate him or destroy the heart. Still, if he's injured badly enough, he will succumb eventually. He's headed where? The roof? Understood, but approach him with extreme caution. Nikki. Do you think Shimada is really to blame? I think arbitrary standards to make that judgment. No. This needs to end now. Yes. But how? With this. But we must keep a distance of at least 300 meters. Otherwise, Shimada will be able to sense us. I know. Shimada. This can't be just about you. There's also Ryoko Tamiya and Mr. A. Why the hell are you even here? You're going to need to merge my strength with your current power. Right. Miga, you know where to aim this, don't you? Of course. has now passed since the massacre that resulted in the deaths of 17 victims. Several doubts remain regarding the identity of the presumed killer, a drug-addicted student who is now known to have been using a false name. I don't understand. Why are they making such an effort to hide the truth? They should just show everyone out there Shimada's body. What happens if they put Shimada's body on display and even openly announce that they've identified a new type of parasitic life form that's feeding on human beings? What's achieved? What's achieved? Public outrage and demands to capture the damn things. How would you capture them? Huh? Well, we humans can't do it alone. You and I will have to work together with the police. No way. Miki! I am an ally to myself and myself alone. I am not an ally to the human species. Yeah, but still. Even if they discover a parasite disguised as a human being, it can simply assume another identity. Humans would be unable to apprehend them. Okay then, so we should hunt them all down, right? And kill them. Oh. Mortality is humans. Which means that even killing my own kind has no effect on me emotionally. But try to imagine if my position and yours were reversed. Oh. Talking about such things distresses him. A common condition of the human race. Until now, we've kept their existence secret to avoid mass panic, but it's getting more and more difficult to keep it hidden. An announcement of this nature would most certainly lead to chaos. 
There are even rumors that the Americans are attempting to adapt these parasites for military use. It's time to involve the public. <sighs> and how do you intend to make such an announcement? Let me clarify. I'm not saying that we should reveal the parasite's existence. I mean we could subtly make known a method that could be used to distinguish humans from the parasites. But how would we make that known? And we can't even tell each other apart. Who out there is infected? To explain this matter further, I'd like to hand it over to Dr. Yui. Hmm. Now then, I'd like to start by expounding upon what we've learned so far about the parasite's unique physiology. These parasitic life forms have the ability to act as the human brain, not only commanding the entire body, but even driving functions beyond their normal of neurons. To put things more simply, you could call it sentient muscle. Ah, sentient muscle. Very interesting. There's more. They have the ability to morph their tissues in an instant, to stretch out like rubber or become as hard as steel. So you might wonder, how could such foreign cells as these bind themselves to the human body? The answer is a near instantaneous cellular fusion. It's most likely a substance much like how polyethylene glycol affects the cell membrane. Please skip to how we can identify them. Huh? Uh. <clears throat> now then, as they are sentient muscle, when enough of their cells are gathered, their intelligence level is actually on par with that of humans. On the other hand, what do you suppose happens if enough of their cells are not gathered together? If deprived of blood flow, they shrivel up and die, so they work together to fuse with others of their kind. So if a small enough fragment becomes separated, it struggles to survive, but its small mass means it lacks the intelligence to rejoin the source. Now, if you were to pull out the hair of a human, nothing at all would happen. But if you pull out a hair from a camouflage parasite, I believe it would violently writhe in pain for a few seconds before the cells would ultimately die. In other words... Pulling out a strand of hair is one way to identify whether or not... Done, Professor. Good Lord, they could just wear a wig. What do you suggest we do then? A hair sample from any part of the body will create the same reaction. The main point is to isolate a small enough mass of cells away from the main body. Well, maybe. I, I guess, guess that, that makes sense. sense. Now then, I'm very sorry for the imposition, gentlemen, but we ask that as you leave this room, you consent to pulling out a strand of your hair. <laughs> While the likelihood is low, we cannot say for sure that we don't have one of them here among us. It didn't take as long as you'd expect for school to be reopened. Oh. Murano. Uh, Shinichi. How are you? Are you doing okay? Mm. Sorry. Sorry I didn't text you back. That's fine. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. How's Yuko doing? Oh, she's much better now. She'll be at school today. That's good. She really, she really went through a lot, you know? Yeah, she did. But she's always been a pretty strong person. Mm. Oh. Because, well, if you hadn't been there... Look, that's all behind us. Let's just try to think of happier things now. Shinichi, you know, we jumped from pretty high up there. And somehow you didn't even get hurt. Yeah. Oh, I think I drank too much. Well, I should probably get going. Hmm? Now hold on. What's the big rush, huh? Sit down. Hey, you know, you're a lot cuter than Shiro said. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it, seriously. Have you heard about that hair thingy? Hold still. <laughs> Sorry about that. I pulled three by accident. Uh, uh. <gasps> no. This is awful. the hair that gave me away. I could use some help.
seem similar to you. I mean, whatever it is you think you're sensing, it could be some kind of wavelengths being broadcast by dangerous jerks like him. Don't tell me, Shinichi. Huh? Uh. Uh. Nobody likes being snuck up on. Oh, sorry. If you really want one of my hairs, you can help yourself. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Wait up! Hey, I remember you warned me before about hanging around Shimada. Does that mean you already knew about what he was capable of from the start? No, I... I didn't. <laughs> I guess not. I mean, who would be friends with a mass murderer, right? Uh, what's with the serious look? She has a special gift. Maybe I could go ahead and tell her everything. No. I shouldn't. Not while Miki's still awake. Shinichi, I know what you're thinking. But don't do it. That female is no ally of mine. Nor is she an ally of yours. Your name is Kana, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You said that you have some strange telepathic ability to sense my presence. But even if you feel like I'm close by, you should not try to approach me. Why not? Because you might run into something else instead. What? Like a monster? Yeah. Now, why would you say that? I mean, you're a normal human being, aren't you, Shinichi? Uh, yeah. Of course I'm a normal human. In the direction of someone, I already know what it is I need to do. I'll pluck out a hair to see if they're safe or not. No, Kana! You cannot do that! <gasps> you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. It's just really dangerous, you know? Does that mean you're worried about me? That makes me kind of happy. Shinichi. Uh, I need to talk to you. Uh, I have to get going. I'm really sorry. See ya. Huh? Oh, hello there. Um, hello. Shinichi, I don't want you to speak to that person again. I can't do that. You know if I just walk away from her, then eventually she's gonna get into trouble. Perhaps. But I believe the way you talk to her has revealed more than enough already. I'll be careful. I hope so. I, um... I know it's strange to ask you this out of the blue, but... Ask me what? Do you think that Shinichi's been acting a little different lately? I've actually only met him a few times. I'm not so sure if I would really be a fair judge. I mean when you first met him versus right now. Did you two have a fight? You like him. He's just different somehow, okay? Not so much when we're talking, but when... I... I mean, he did save my life. He saved your life? So you mean you have dreams like that too? Huh? Dreams? <gasps> uh, uh, I guess I just don't see it. I get the feeling he's been this way all along, you know? He's got this kind of intensity about him. <sighs> well, if you don't stop acting so mopey, then you're gonna lose him for sure. Looks like I might still have a chance. I'll be back in ten minutes. Understood. But, uh, 
Couldn't you have worn something a bit more normal looking? It'll just get dirty. What do you want? How many are inside? Are you kidding me? You some kind of moron? Get out of here before you get hurt! Ah, of course. You Yakuza are quite aggressive. Okay, look here, short shorts. I'll keep you from getting your ass beat, you understand? What's wrong? Let's go. That's it, asshole. That makes three. What? Holy shit! This guy's not dead? They managed three hits. I guess that's about right. What the hell? <laughs> What's this all about, man? It's an experiment. We wanted to determine exactly how successful we would be against a group heavily armed with weapons. No, please! My god, what the hell happened over there? That guy... His head got bashed in. I'm pretty sure I heard some gunshots. Yeah, me too. Hey! He's getting away! Hey! Get back here! Huh? What the? Where'd he go? He was right in front of us. Let's get out of here. I don't want to get in the middle of some damn gang war. Right. But don't you think we should at least call the cops or something? Nah. I'm sure somebody already did. What is it? Nothing. It's just you're quite different from before. Mass murder at a gang headquarters. It says 22 people were massacred, every single Yakuza member there. That's crazy. It's like, it keeps getting worse out there every single day. Yeah. Was that a parasite? No. They wouldn't kill like that unless they needed to feed. has just held an emergency press conference. They made the announcement that they will soon be releasing security camera footage of a male suspect fleeing the scene. That may have been a bit much. It was a very successful exercise. Very. Shinichi, hey! I'm glad you're here. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking me to come out today, kind sir. <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I still have nightmares about that day sometimes. Even after I know I'm awake, I just can't stop myself from shaking. Does that ever happen to you, Shinichi? Yeah, sometimes. But by the end of the morning, I'm usually okay. You're lucky. 
Unfortunately, my dreams are always so disturbing. I can't get them out of my head. Well, actually, a friend told me something one time. He said it helps to think of people like cows and pigs. When you look at it that way, you can kind of see that people are eating chopped up animals all the time. So it's natural. There's really nothing for you to be afraid of. That's kind of strange. What kind of person would say that? Uh, mm, no one like you've ever met. Well, maybe it's because of this friend that you've changed so much. No, it's not that... I don't think so. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I don't mean anything bad. It's just you're different, that's all. I never know which Shinichi's gonna show up. Yeah, he hasn't been the same. Um, Shinichi? When your dad got hurt while on vacation and then he went... <gasps> Let's get going. I guess I shouldn't have asked him about it. not even that cold out here. <laughs> you sound just like an old man. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Bobby! <laughs> hey, Bobby, come back! Wait for me, Bobby! Hey, come on. Let's go. Come on. Bobby, you're stupid! You're stupid! Hey, now. There's no... Last favor she'll ever ask. So how could I ignore her? 
I do not really understand that. Guess I got here a bit too early. One of my kind is nearby. Oh. Wait, not just one of them, but three. No, five. Well, are there three or are there five? They're over there. They've noticed us, but they still haven't made a move. You know something, Migi? You and I may be the weirdest crime-fighting duo ever. Shinichi. They're currently about 60 meters away, eight of them in total. Two are down low, and six are elevated. Still no aggression. Could you give up your vehicle to prevent just an ounce of pollution? Completely reversing the course of our daily lives is next to impossible. But if we choose to do nothing, our oh, entire six up there. Is They're all parasites? And the two below. At this distance, it would be difficult for them to identify us, but they might if we make eye contact. ...to use scare tactics to try to elicit results, offering a terrifying glimpse into a dismal future threatening that we're doomed to fail. Did he see us? No, no way. Rise. There's no way he'll ever get elected. He's gonna have to show his true colors soon enough. Although, given which town this guy's in, it's possible that Ryoko Tamiya is somehow involved in all this. Possibly. Could he he seems to be very interested in this. So, I guess you think he's after something. Yes, I do. The first possibility is that by assuming a human identity and studying mankind, he has developed a real interest in politics. In which case, he would actually make an excellent mayor. That's ridiculous. But there is also a second possibility. He wants to secure safe haven and a food source for others. Good point. But even if they hide the bodies after feeding on them, people are still gonna turn up missing. And let's say they killed somebody who... In a position offering both access and control of such information while securing food would be ideal. So that's his goal then? If they organize this way, they'll become more and more dangerous. And that put her at risk too. But it's right here, in front of you. It's in the Come on, let's go over there. Huh? That's not where we agreed to meet, so... What's going on? Oh, you know, I just had this feeling that you were there. I thought I told you to stay away even if that happened again. Yeah, but it was much more than just you. I could sense it in the crowd that had gathered there. I'd say there are about four or five of them. Miggy said that he could sense eight of them. So I guess the parasites can sense their own kind better than she can. Either way, this makes things way too risky for her. Shinichi. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Uh, it's nothing, alright? Look, I can still think about whatever I want. Well, I felt concerned for some reason. Personally, I'd prefer that you not get involved further in this situation. Even if we fought them, we wouldn't win. Oh, look. I can find out how many of them are here. It's impossible to calculate their numbers. Even a guess will be fine. Honestly, don't you want to know how the others of your kind have evolved? I suppose. Well... They don't show up just because you go looking for them. something kind of important I wanted to ask you about. Oh, yeah? About your special ability. Have you ever gotten that feeling from anyone other than me? Uh, well, yeah, but not really that often. And when I do see them, they turn out to be normal, some random guy or whatever. Look, for your own good, you should really stay away from anyone you feel transmitting that signal. But why? What's wrong with them? 
Are they those parasite things that everybody's been talking about? Wait a second, are you one of these parasites too? That's <gasps> not what I mean. Gonna. Mitsuo? I need to talk to you, okay? Right. I'll see you. Uh, hey, hold on. We'll talk soon. There's something else we need to talk about, too. You don't have to text me. I'll be able to feel it when you're nearby. You'll feel it? Gana, sometimes what you feel is someone else. Sometimes what you feel is someone else? Gana, what the hell's going on? Mitsuo, this has nothing to do with you. <sighs> Shinichi, what is it that you needed to talk about with that female? Tell me the truth. Was speaking to her your actual objective in going on today's outing? So what if it was? As you have surmised, my species has indeed evolved over time. But still, we are not capable of developing true human emotions. We don't know sympathy. I know. So I'm asking you not to take any action that would potentially put me at risk. If you were to reveal too much to her, then I... I get it, okay? I'm not so sure you do, Shinichi. I can only assume that you would not want your right hand to suddenly slice someone to shreds, would you? So... you're threatening me? Yes. You literally have no sympathy at all, do you? I believe that's what I just said. <sighs> I wonder what he wants to tell me. <gasps> Again. And it's so close. I don't think it's him. I guess it's possible. Over there. Around the corner. That's not him. Shinichi. In here? You did say in your text that a place with no one around would be best. Jeez! <gasps> ah, ah, okay, he's asleep. And then, I told Kana everything I knew. Everything about the parasites. But the one that bonded with me messed up while trying to take over my brain, so I took over my hand instead. And he won't attack anyone anymore. So you understand, right? I guess I was hoping for something more interesting. You kind of got my hopes up. Kana, I can't expect you to believe all of this. But everything I told you is the truth. Well, if that's the case, then why don't you show me some proof? Go I told you, he's sleeping right now. Why don't you just come out and say it? You don't want to see me anymore because you don't want that girl, Murano or whatever, to see you with me. Are you kidding? I wouldn't spin some elaborate lie for some bullcrap like that. Some bullcrap? Seriously, if you hate me so much, why don't you just come out and say it? Kana, you've got this all wrong. You know what? The thing that I feel is different for you than it is for the rest of them. Huh? Really? Uh-huh. There's a very distinct difference between them. I can tell if it's you or if it's one of those weird monsters. You really can? So I won't go near anyone with a signal that's not yours. That should solve it, right? Uh, I guess so. Okay, now as far as I can tell, I'm the only one in the world who can do this. You must admit, that's pretty amazing stuff, isn't it? Yeah, you've got something special. So, since I've told you about my secret, you're gonna have to show me your secret someday, too. What secret? your right hand otherwise how can i ever really be able to believe your story fair enough it's a promise then mm. well he won that means the parasites have now secured a refuge as well as a stable food supply they're as intelligent as humans and they'll do anything to protect themselves she said she's able to tell me apart from the rest of them but I'm not sure that adds up. Oh, really? Yeah. It's supposed to be a really great movie. Oh. 
Hyuko and Akiho said they cried their eyes out. So I have to see it while it's still in theaters. Okay. So tomorrow at 10 o'clock then? Sure. Why don't you notice me? We're joined by fate. I'm the only one who can sense you. She doesn't feel you like I do. Look over here. Feel me. Please. Following me, that would be you. You're the stalker. Can't you see he already has a girlfriend? That guy's not right for you, Kana. You know that. Oh, yeah? yeah? And you're saying that you are? I have had enough of this. Always following me around like a little puppy dog? Yeah. Please, you need to get out of my life. I don't know what to say. I can't believe you hate me that much. Mitzvah. something huh? it'd be foolish for me to make an enemy out of you but then again I certainly don't want you doing something rash while I'm asleep either it's about that female Kana her power has grown stronger and she has now begun to emit her own signal signal it's the signal parasites send out that allows us to sense one another I became aware of her what? no way if she sends out a signal then those things will be able to find her. She'll get herself killed. Most likely, she can only send her signal when she has full concentration. However, her transmission range is quite limited. Why didn't you tell me this before? No. Thank you for telling me now. Maggie, the other day, while you were asleep, I told Kana everything I knew about the parasites, and I told her about you, too. But don't worry, she didn't believe me. I thought as much. Look, I know she wouldn't turn against you, and so... I was hoping... that maybe you would agree to show yourself to her. I mean, it'll be fine! Besides, if she does ever tell anyone else, I can always bluff my way out of it. As long as you kept on pretending to be my right hand, she'd just sound like a crazy person talking nonsense. Well? All right. <sighs> okay, I'll give her a call then. We'll meet her tomorrow. I have a date with Murano. We're a little early. Hey, you remember, right? What you promised yesterday? Yes, but this is bad. Two of my kind are approaching. <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. I want to change our meeting place. For now, don't go near the trains. I'll call you later. Hmm? It's those two. Let's go. Wait. If we move, it'll make them suspicious. Pretend you're making a call. This time, I'll show you what my power can really do. I can sense you, and you alone. No one else. Not even that girl Murano has such feelings for you. I want you. I want you to sense me too.
acted as though we were nothing out of the ordinary. Come on, why won't she pick up? There he is. It's no good. With all these people around, there's no way I can pinpoint Kana's breathing. Miggy, aren't you able to receive that signal of hers? Impossible. Her signal is weak in comparison, and she may not even be sending it out right now. I'll see him. I will. I'll see him soon. Shinichi. There. What? You found her? I didn't. It's one of my kind. I'm not worried about that now. No, wait. If Kana senses that guy's signal... She's likely to approach it. Which way? Shinichi! I told you! I am able to sense you and only you! Shinichi! It's human. The signal was rather weak. But this is... Unexpected. the defense. Defense? Incredible. <laughs> it's no good. not to talk. It was just so embarrassing. I could never tell anyone. Kana. That's the boy who found her. He seems pretty calm for someone who just found his friend murdered. This is confidential information, but that kid's mother was actually killed by a parasite as well. Not too friendly, huh? I'm sure he's pretty tired of all the questioning he's been through. The kid's had a rough go of it. And we've also had him give us one of his hairs just in case. Oh, I'm sure he was a fan of that. Well, we can't be too careful. The victim was murdered by a parasite, but we... we don't know who killed that parasite. Something tore through its ribcage, gouged out its heart, then slammed it with enough force to destroy the wall itself. No human can do that. Which means there was at least one other parasite at the scene. So the parasites had a falling out? Yeah, well, we have to consider that as a possibility. It's fine. I'd just gone to the movies with Murano that none of this would ever have happened to Kana. That's not true, Shinichi. 